I'm talking about performance horses, and that's what we're, we're here to talk about today. The performance loss, or the ability of the, the horse to continue uh, performing at peak levels, um, the loss will occur before you can see any visible changes. So this is, uh, and all of you have this as a handout in a second, because the print on this gets pretty small, but it's a it's a showing the body condition scoring horses. This the body condition scoring system came from Texas A&M, uh, where they give you different areas on the body to evaluate fat thickness. And so there's four distinct areas: the crest, behind the shoulder, over the rib, and the tail tail head around the tail end. If you give each one of those scores of between one and nine, one being totally emaciated, nine being obese, with ideal between five and six. So if we can score each of those areas, then we'll, then we'll come up with an average of those four to come up with their, their individual body condition score. The top line, and that's what we're going to concentrate on today, uh, is a way of determining muscle status on the horse. And so rather than the amino acids in the diet will affect muscles all over the horse, but it's easiest to see on the top line. And so we've divided the top line into four areas, or three areas plus the hind leg. The back, the loin, the croup, and the hind leg. And all, all of this is written out in detail for you. So we score it an A, B, C, or a D to avoid confusion with the one through nine for body scoring. And so if everything is fine, the, the, the back is nice and round, the, the loin is flat, and the, the croup is brown, uh, we'll give them an A. And that's what we want it to be. We want all horses to be an A. If you look at their back area, between the withers and the mid-back, if that area is concave or sunken in, okay, then we'll give that horse a B because that should blend from the vertebrae right into the rib and not be indented. If the loin, you should not be able to see nor palpate the spinal processes sticking up on the loin. That should be tabletop flat. Many times I see them concave and you can not only uh, palpate them, but you can see the vertebrae standing up on the, on the loin. Uh, then you know that that loin is compromised and how much you can train that horse is limited. And so if that's the case, if the back is concave and the loin is concave, we'll give them a, uh, a C top line score. And if it's worse than that, if you look at the hip, point of hip, and the croup, if it's concave there, we'll give them a D top line score. So A being the best, then B, C, and D. So the, the reason that we look there is because it's just the easiest place to pick up deficiencies, rather than the shoulders uh, and the neck and, and other places that, that muscle is, is also affects. 